Hi to all, welcome to my second class on the chapter 14 symmetry. In this class, I am going to discuss rotational symmetry. Look at a clock. What would you say when hand of a clock is going around? Yes, you can say it is rotating. You can see the hands of a clock rotate only in one direction. The rotation like hands of a clock, we can call it as clockwise rotation. Otherwise, it is said to be anti-clockwise rotation. That means clockwise rotation means in this direction and anti-clockwise direction means anti-clockwise rotation means in this direction. Here, hands of the clock moves about a fixed point. This point we can call it as center of rotation. Let me take an object and let me rotate it. Here you can see while rotating the angle changes. The angle of turning rotation, we can call it as angle of rotation. That is, the angle of turning during rotation is called the angle of rotation. Now, let us see what is the degree measure of the angle of rotation of a full turn. That means, if we start here and reach in the same portion, it will be 360 degree that is degree measure of a full turn is equal to 360 degree then what about the degree measure of a half turn let us check it from here this is a quarter turn and this is a half turn so here the angle angle of measure is 180 degree that is a half turn is 180 degree and a quarter turn is 90 degree. Now let me rotate this object. If I rotate a, about this fixed point at 90 degree, the objects look exactly the same. After rotating about a fixed point at certain angle, if the object looks exactly the same, we can call these objects having rotational symmetry. That is, after rotating here, after rotating 90 degree, these objects look exactly the same. Again, if you are rotating 180 degree, again it has, it looks the same. Then by 270 also you can see it look, looks exactly the same and by 360 also it looks exactly the same. That is in a full turn this object in four portions it looks exactly the same. That is 90 degree, 180, 270 and 360. In four positions, this object looks exactly the same. Then, because of this, we can call it has a rotational symmetry of order 4. And here you can see, after rotating 90 degree, this object looks exactly the same. So, we can say here the angle of rotation is 90 degree. Now let me take a square. Here, center of rotation is the center of this square. Now let me uh, rotate this square. Here, after rotating 90 degree, it looks exactly the same. So, the angle of rotation we can call it as 90 degree. Here, 2, 3 and for, for a full turn, there are four times it looks exactly 
same so the we can say the order of rotation is 4 for a square and in which direct direction I rotate this it is clockwise direction so we can conclude the center of rotation is the center of the square the angle of rotation is 90 degree the direction of rotation is clockwise the order of rotational symmetry is 4 now what about an equilateral triangle here how do you find out the center of rotation for an equilateral triangle here it is better you have to draw the median swan two and three this point of intersection of media will be the center of this will be the center of rotation of an equilateral triangle that we can say that point of intersection of median is the center of rotation now let me rotate it in here you can see here one then two then three three times the equilateral triangle looks same in a full turn so the order of rotation we can call say it is three angle of rotation in a 360 degree three times it looks exactly same so the angle of rotation we can find it out as 360 by 3 that is 120 degree here you have exercise 14.2 do yourself that is for for today's class have a nice day